wasn't the same without you. I can't believe it's been five years already. You know, not to go all Steve Perry power ballad on you, but lately I feel like I've been the one living the virtual world. Cut off from everyone I really care about. It's actually a good thing you weren't here when Trotter took us down. You saved us. Eh, let's just say I learned from the best. Besides, half the credit should go to the Fate Helmet. I mean, it warned me something bad was going to happen to our group, so... The Suicide Squad. Chloe. Clark? Every Frankenstein has a human heart. When I found out that Flag was trying to kill the general, I knew it was going to take more than just the blue suits in the bureau to take him down, so... I wrote a worm, permanently mothballing his missile system, and I gave him a choice. I could either report them to the government, or they could report to me. And to think you're the same Chloe that's in that picture. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Oh, this never ends well. How'd you do it? Trust me, I mean, back then before you found out. I had my suspicions. But that's what I mean. You knew that I was lying to you and still you looked me in the eye every day and you trusted me. I guess that's the true test of believing in someone. Knowing that their lies are there to protect you. It's not really trust if you ask someone to explain themselves. But that's hard. It's really hard. You never gave up. And I never will. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late, but unlike the virtual world, I can't leave traffic jams in a single bound. No worries, because Clark and I were just updating our non-existent Facebook pages in person. Now, I don't know if you guys saw it, but Watchtower just texted, I mean, Tess just texted that Trotter and her men are enjoying a taste of their own virtual venom. Since Trotter is officially off the military's grid, we're not going to have to worry about her spreading her hero-hating vitriol or your secret anytime soon. Good. Hey, since we are uh, all together in the same room and the same plane of existence, and let's face it, our lives, who knows how long that'll be, we wanted to ask you a question. I think what Lois is trying to say is, do you... W will you be my maid of honor? <laughs> 